There you go, guys. Um, now, I've given this a um, coating with an anti chip coating that I bought the other day, and uh, let's give me a good shot of what it is. It's this here. Now, I bought one can the other day, and I um, we were talking about a week ago, I suppose, and um, they have the coat under here, and um, I've done this um, as well, and uh, looks quite good. This has had a top coat of um, shiny black on it as well, because it, it dries flat. Um, I'll probably give it another coat of shiny black, but it's come up, and it's quite hard, like it's quite, you know, I reckon it'll be quite, give some good protection, you know, so like it's going to last, and it's not going to get it all smashed off by stones, and well, that's what I'm hoping anyway, you know, so 10 years down the track and I've done, you know, a few miles on the old girl. It still looks, you know, good and tidy without, you know, looking all beaten and all rusty again. So I'll give this a, a coat of, a, um, of like a weathered body colour or black or something eventually, but over the last couple of days, well, actually just today, I've, um, Stripped all the suspension out, uh, steering box, pretty much everything cross member. You now, all I've got to do is pull the uh, boiler arm out and uh, set a top arm off the suspension on the side. Um, this is cross member here. Like, you know, it's nice and clean on this side, but uh, in here, lots of flash. That's, uh, that's part of the reason why I sort of pulled it out. I can clean this up properly and uh, you know, get it nice and clean. And I'll, but once again, I'll you know, give it a good clean with the oven cleaner you know, and pressure wash it off and get all the thick shit off, you know, scrape it off and whatever. And then paint it up. I'll use that same texture paint on that because, look, I bought one can of it and uh, all it did was that and that arm. And um, so I thought. It's basically empty, so I went and had another look, and because um, I didn't want to buy, you know, too much of it, and I if I didn't like it. So I went the other day, and I can get it in a litre, just straight out like a straight liquid stuff. So instead of you know, in a pressure can, and it's mixed with whatever. So I'm hoping this will go a bit further. So I'll just spray it through my spray gun instead. Um, it, as far as I can tell, you don't even have to thin it. Um, it cleans up with water and meths, which is interesting. So it's obviously a um, semi-water-based sort of sort of type stuff. Um, so that's going to be quite interesting to see how far that goes. So I'm hoping it goes a bit further because this is only a couple, like a few dollars dearer than, than the spray can, and uh, instead of being 400 grams, it's a litre, and I don't know what else is in that. So it sprays, if you know what I mean. So like. So whether I can get all of that done, all the suspension parts done with that, I have no idea, but we'll find out over the next few days. And um, this is all the suspension parts here, um, all the, you know, one side and the other. I'll try and keep it much upright as I can so I don't mix anything up. But um, right, if you can hear this over top of that wind, which is real annoying, this is really quite worn so all these um, steering ball joints I'll replace um, the equipment arm oh, I'm not really sure I haven't actually sort of really had a good look to see how much if there's much slop in here hopefully it's okay but if not I'll have to replace it um, this ball joint off the other side this is the um, passenger side one I'm pretty sure it's reasonably new um, the rubber is pretty good and it's quite stiff to, to move around. Um, it's not terribly easy to do it when you're you know, holding a camera. But yeah, uh, it's really quite solid to move around and it doesn't feel like it's worn anywhere so I don't think it's been on very long. I think when they replaced the um, the ones on the top arm, unfortunately the boot's missing off this one but I should better pick up a boot. And the one on the other one's been replaced as well because yeah, you can see it's got no split pin. And the other one's the same. So I'm pretty sure they've been replaced, but this one here, I think she's still the ridge. 
Um, like it's, it doesn't feel real bad, but it's quite, you know, like it's quite easy to move. So for the sake of it, I'll replace that one. Um, I'll have a real good look at that, make sure that is new, or, and um, if I have to, I'll replace that one. But I think I'll only have to replace this one in the meantime. Um, I'll check the bushings in here on these bottom arms, make sure they're all good, and then I'll clean everything up and uh, to, you know use the oven cleaner and get it, get all the grease and the guns and everything out, and then I'll I'll basically I'll paint everything with that with that texture coating. So I don't get this hope, hopefully again. Like well, it's going to happen, but I'm hoping. You know, mind you, this is 50 years old, so it isn't done bad. But um, yeah, like you know, so that sort of thing doesn't happen so quick. And um, give it a good coating with that texture coating, and then I give it a couple, real good couple, heavy good coats of, you know, like a shiny black or something like that, so it looks nice. You know, I don't want it to be a show car, but I want it to be tidy, so. You know, give, give everything a good coating of that, and um, same with, with all these um, the stub axles. You know, I'll pull them, I'll pull the brakes and everything off, give them a good clean up and a paint up too, so they will look nice. And uh, we'll start bolting everything back together um, and try and replace what I need to. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been up to the last few days. Um, but this was, you know, basically the the black. Stuff was earlier earlier in the week, and this is now Sunday. So yeah, I've just pulled all this out you now within the last hour or so, and um, it's having a good look at it. And um, yeah, so we'll start cleaning this all up. And uh, I'll just give you a quick shot of underneath, so give you a bit of a bit more of an idea, you know, why I sort of started pulling everything apart. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> That's a nice shot of the concrete. So um. You know, I'll give this all a real good clean up too. Um, scrap as much of the stuff off as can. And uh, I'll try and give it a dose with the oven cleaner in here. You know, try and get all the last it off. You know, the oven cleaner's quite good for getting all the, all the greasy, real greasy stuff. And then um, I'll give it a quick squirt with the, with the pressure cleaner in here and then let the, let the concrete dry out and everything. And then, um, you know, I'll do the cross member for the, for the gearbox and... I'll go back probably as far as the gearbox as I can to the um, cross member of the gearbox at this stage. I'll hope I want to go further eventually and do the whole thing front to back, um, especially underneath. You know, make sure everything's real clean, and then I'll paint it with that textured undercoating. Um, I won't go up to where it's grey, where the um, where the um, prim where the edge primer is up there, but all the blue and um, everything else underneath. I'll use that texture coating and hopefully I can do as much as I can without buying too many too many lots of it. Um, so yeah, I'll, we'll do all that and then paint it um, gloss black so it's all nice and tidy and I've um, got plenty of protection for the years to come. So that's the plan at this stage. So um, we'll leave it at that and uh, hopefully Next week we'll um, have something else to show you. Should warm this line here. So that feels like it might be. Uh, it could be reasonably recent too. But something's just thrown it in there, you know. I'm going to try and paint all this up so it looks nice. So at least you know, for the first five or six years, you know, if you take it to a to a car show or something like that, you know, like somebody can have a look at it. Oh, it's nice and clean. You know, I want to try and keep it clean. Um, as much as possible. Alrighty guys, so um, I'll carry on, do some more, and uh, I feel like, you know, by the next weekend or something like that, I might have a few parts cleaned up, and um, unfortunately I only get paid once a fortnight, so I won't be getting any bits in the next few days, but at least I can clean things up and show you what they look like, and uh, get a bit more textured paint on everything. So uh, that'll be it for now. And um, we'll catch you later.